All right, you guys, so I woke up really, really sick. I have no voice, but that's okay. We're gonna tough through it today. And I'm just in the middle of getting ready, but my hat arrived, so let's go down and meet the girl and get our hats. I'm so excited, let's go. When you're so out of it, you push the up, but you mean down. Oh no. Oh, here it is. I love it. It's perfect, absolutely perfect. Is it? Yeah. I, I should. Yeah, it has like literally all the colors that I wanted in it, and it's on the side and everything. Yeah. I'm not too picky. All right, so my makeup is done. My hat is on. I went with kind of pink meets warm makeup today, and light on the lips. My choker that Laura made in Japan, and this is my dress. I love the hat so much i think it's exactly what i wanted so pretty it's got glitters in it too so it will shine in the sun i'm ready to go oh, i'm so excited but i just want to note to you guys last night was the night that i uploaded the first video announcing that i'm going to the races and some of you guys were sharing information on how there's a lot of animal cruelty involved with the races and a lot of the horses you know suffer and bleed and i had no idea to be honest i originally only wanted to go for the fashion because i know it's such a big fashion event um i actually have no real interest in the racing part and gambling part of it but i'm really upset to find out that the horses suffer so much. I had no idea that it was like that. So to anyone who is concerned about that and me going, I apologize, but I'm still gonna be going because I did already pay for my ticket and tickets were quite expensive. So um, yeah, just to note that I am aware now of that situation and it's really unfortunate and sad. And now I know and I learned from you guys. So thank you for sharing. But anyway, <laughs> let's head out. And I know this vlog is gonna be brutal with my voice. So please forgive me for that. I woke up like this. Oh. Oh, Harbor Grave. 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 Oh,
so exciting. That's so exciting that James went on his first time. First bet of the day anyway. Going well for you. I'm not gonna put it. So they opened up the tracks so you can walk on and get a picture. It's cool because in between the races, you can actually go onto the racetrack and get photos and stuff and then people cross through to go to I guess like special tents and stuff like that. It's a really interesting experience. If you want to come here for the fashion like I am, then this is definitely something you should check out in the springtime if you're planning a trip to Melbourne, Australia. And I definitely recommend it because it's a, it's a one of a kind experience for sure. But otherwise, like the experience in itself is totally like exactly what I was looking for. It's amazing. It's so Australian and like European and stuff. So James needed a pocket square, so he got himself flowers. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> so Kyle and James are putting another bet on. They didn't bet on the last race because they didn't like any of the odds. So they're doing this one. And again, couple bets, couple drinks. Oh. So my horse is Il Devo, and if it gets third place, second place, or first place, I could win $45 on a $3 bet. So here's hoping, you guys. I lost. No, number eight. No. It's okay. It's okay. He's cute, so I like him. We're gonna throw my ticket in the bin. We are going across the way to the race course to get to the other side of the venue. All the races are over, so I think we're gonna head into the city and try to get some food, because we are hungry. We didn't want to spend any of our money on the food trucks here, because they usually like overprice things. So we are heading back into the CBD to get some grub. So, so I hope you have a wonderful, I hope you win like something. The lines for the trains are absolute madness. So I don't think we'll get on this one. I'll probably get on the second train or even the third. I don't even know, but we're hungry. We've gone like, what, five hours? I feel like without food, Kyle and I just had one piece of toast with like half an avocado each on it today and I had one coffee, so we're parched. Let's get some grub in the city. We are going to Kitchen Workshop Buffet, which apparently is like an all-you-can-eat place for, I don't know, 29 so hungry. All right, babes, we're done eating and we're gonna head home now because we're tired. All right, we are back home now. I had an amazing day at the races, even though I was clearly really sick. Um, I still had a really fun time. It was really interesting to see that kind of, you know, fashion style of Melbourne and like Aussies and everything that they do, like traditional Australian kind of stuff. Like you don't get races like that at all in Canada. Like not at all. That's totally unique to Australia or even um, the European areas i think they also do it the same like that but yeah i just want to give a shout out before i go you guys to the girl that made my hat definitely check her out on instagram check out her web shop like this was amazing she made it so fast for me like last minute making me a hat for the melbourne cup it's amazing so i'll have her uh link here so you guys can see it and then i'll also have a link in the description box down below she was absolutely amazing can't thank her enough saved my life 
seriously like i couldn't have done a better job for diy hats at all so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my race day vlog remember to thumbs up this video if you did comment down below and of course subscribe if you want to see more on my daily life as i live here in melbourne australia i love you guys so much and i hope i didn't drive you crazy with my sickness voice i'll see you next time bye